Hi, everybody. Today's story is called This Is Me. And it's a story of who we are and where we came from. My great-grandmother came from a far distant place. She came on a boat with just this small case. Great-grandmother left her family and friends to cross the great sea to a land at the end. Her parents informed her she had no say. Tomorrow we leave for a place far away. So fill up this case with the things you love best. Sadly, You'll have to leave all of the rest. Did she wear all her clothes to leave her more space? Could her family album fit in this case? I know she took ribbons and some things to eat and shoes when they said to take care of her feet. Her whole family tree, pen and pencil set, one writing journal, a comb and barrette, great great grandma's necklace, her own handmade doll that she clutched on her journey when she felt really small. How did she do it? What would you take? Would you be scared that you'd make a mistake? How would you know in this case what to pack and that once you had left, there'd be no coming back? So you, my dear class, have big choices to make. When you bring this case home, what will you take? I couldn't take paintings or diglet my rat, or trophies or school books or dad's hand carved bat. I'd take lots of photos and the doll my gram sewed and my first inline ticket to Katie's first show. My punk rocker Barbie, because my mom was one too. My barely stuffed bear, old Winnie the Pooh. Abuelo's beret, my ukulele, my St. Christopher medal to look out for me. My USA passport, that makes me feel free. My Nintendo DS with my fave Luigi. My signed Harry Potter, my baby tooth tin, my aunt's high school class ring, my dad's navy pin, my Groucho Marx glasses, Weird Al signed CD, my Notre Dame jersey, my karate gi. Legos, a camera to film what I leave. If this really happened, it would be hard to believe. But I'd be so excited with all that was new, people and things to meet and to do. Great work, Elena, for the time that you took. This suitcase is like your own history book. For who you all are isn't just what you got, but part what you learn, part what you're taught. Who you become starts with your past family histories, and stories that last. This great tide that brought you, seeds ancestors sowed, that took root inside you and helped you to grow. Now you take this case and imagine it's true that you're leaving and needing to choose what says you. What would you take? Which things would they be that say to the world, Hi there, this is me. What would you take? The end. I chose this story today because it's actually my grandma's birthday. <laughs> she traveled here from far away a very long time ago with just one suitcase, just like the main character. And just like the main character in the story, when I was reading and listening to it, it made me realize that it's not the things that I have that make me who I am. 
It's the people that gave me the stories and taught me and that I learned from that make me who I am. And for me, that's my grandma. <laughs> so happy birthday, Nona. <laughs> and I hope you guys all enjoyed this story. See you tomorrow.